big assumption that everybody makes is that the private sector is more efficient, but actually the evidence is that they're not. We have to be thinking big and bold, and thinking about what we do about public ownership is one of the key pieces to the new vision, the new world that we might want to see. The power still resides in our hands, and there's political choices that our national governments can still make, and we can put that pressure on them. So the discussion really was about how we create those spaces, how we create those mechanisms that give a voice to community organisations and trade unions so that we can start setting out the agenda and saying what we want to see out of public services and out of the role of the state on a national level and a local level. The trouble with privately owned digital spaces is you're not sure who owns the value, who extracts the value. All you tend to know is that you put something into it and you don't see it afterwards. The benefit of a publicly owned digital space is that anyone can access it, anyone can extract value from it, anyone can add value to it. It can be seen by everyone and everyone can understand what its limits are. My vision for public services that are a public, but not just public in the formal sense, but also public in the sense of the public being really present, the people. Zoom out a bit, slow down a bit and think about the long term. Don't just think about your children, think about your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren and what their future will be like.